Hey, hey, y'all. Long time no see. I know. Where have I been, right? Life has been crazy, but I figured why not give y'all a grocery haul. So that's where we're going. We're in the car already. I wish the groceries would just pick themselves and pay for themselves and then ship them right to your house, which we do have Walmart pickup, all that, this and the other. <laughs> But we did a Walmart pickup. That's where we are going right now. We're going to get it, get it home and get it all set up. That way you can see what we're, or what I bought this week. So let's get going y'all. <laughs> or should I say, come on, let's go. So starting back here, we've got three gallons of whole milk. I bought in the half gallons because it fits in our fridge better. And we have a spare fridge, so that's where I keep all the extra ones. Um, with our sweet tea and other juices, and my son drinks a different kind of milk than we do. So we have to have extra room. <laughs> so that's why I buy in the half gallons. I have two of the honey, cinnamon, and vanilla coffee creamers. And one of the French vanilla. Yes, I need to do my nails, but I haven't got around to it yet. But I got one French vanilla. Then I needed some sour cream, so I got two sour creams, just the eight ounce size. We like to use those because they last longer and typically a recipe generally calls for eight ounces. So I like to keep those on hand and y'all know, y'all know the drill. <laughs> I know it's been a little while, but I always love to keep heavy whipping cream on hand. Use that in so many different things, y'all. Then we needed some more cream cheese. So I got a two pack of cream cheese. I love to keep that on hand. Then we needed some more butter. So I got a four count um, pack of butter. Then we got some peppers. That's what I'm gonna use tonight to cut up in that um, peppers and onions. I needed some spinach. I love to keep this on hand. Recipes or eggs, um, breakfast, salads, it doesn't matter. This is so versatile. You can use it in a lot of stuff. So I got a bag of spinach. Then I picked up one bag of the eight pound jumbo potatoes. These potatoes are so big that I can use like two or three of them and I've got a whole pot of um, taters. So I can make like mashed potatoes or tater salad, anything like that. So um, I love buying the jumbo potatoes and they're not bad on price either. I mean, anything you buy anymore these days is going to be expensive in my opinion. <laughs> we got two Vidalia onions. I got four lemons, two aroma tomatoes. Y'all, I'm so ready for stuff to be in my garden. I've not putting stuff in the ground yet because here in Southern West Virginia, you know better than to put stuff in the ground unless it's you know cold temperature hardy <laughs> until about may but it'll get there and i'm going to do some romas this year too then i got a bunch of bananas i think there's just six on them and of course i got my little mini sweet peppers i love these things they are so good i eat them plain you can put cream cheese in them with everything bagel seasoning it makes a perfect snack cut them up put them in omelets y'all the the possibilities are endless with these so good then back here, I got a bag of the Purdue chicken leg quarters. I'm going to put these on the smoker tomorrow. We're going to have um, smoked chicken. I'm going to do some fried okra and probably some tater salad or something like that. But I got a bag of those to go on the smoker. Then I needed some yellow American cheese. I just got a half a pound of that and a half a pound of the German bologna and one pound of the black forest ham my husband loves the bologna and leo loves ham so i have to get both of those plus i eat that in my salad and stuff too for the ham then i got some frozen cut okra i'll just bread that and fry it on up and these are the sausages that i use for my um sausage hoagies and i just get the beef smoked sausages and to go with that, instead of hoagie rolls, I like using these top sliced hot dog buns just because it's easier to put the peppers and onions and the barbecue sauce right on top of it. And you don't have to worry about it spilling over. So that's why I love these top sliced hot dog buns. Back here real quick, I got a 12 pack of the zero sugar root beer and zero sugar Dr. Pepper. 
along with a Deer Park, I think this is a 35 pack of water for the week. I got one thing of saltine crackers, ooh, as I drop it. But I love to have this on hand, not only for like soups and stuff, but there's something on that. I think it's glue. <laughs> um, not only for soups, but I also put this into my meatloaves. I crumble them up and use those instead of like breadcrumbs and such. Makes it so good. If y'all haven't tried it, give it a try. Get you some saltines and put it in some meatloaves. <laughs> then I needed some Worcestershire sauce for my um, marinade for my smoked chicken and that's why also i got those lemons right there because it's lemons butter and worcestershire it's paula dean's daddy's smoked chicken marinade rub whatever you want to call it <laughs> but it's so good i'll see if i can link it below then i needed some mild taco seasoning i've got a recipe coming up for that i think it's chili taco rice i can't remember then I just got a loaf of just the Heiner's Giant sliced white bread. And back here, I got a bag of sweetened coconut flakes because I'm gonna be making an Italian cream cake. And I needed that to put in it. Then y'all know I got me a thing of Dukes. Gotta keep the mayonnaise readily available. It's the best. I do like Kalman's too. Not hating on anybody's mayonnaise favorites, but this is just what I prefer. I haven't dropping everything, y'all. Then we got some Marzetti caramel dip. Do y'all say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Caramel? It's like pecan, pecan, or pecans. Depends on how I'm saying it is how I use it, but generally it's called pecans. But if I'm saying it, I will say, um, I will never say pecan, because it's not that, but I will say pecan. <laughs> But I got some caramel dip from apples. That kind of got out of hand, didn't it? Oh well. But I got some caramel dip for my apples that I have here. I wanted to stock back up on my cheddar cheese soup, so that's what I decided to do this week is just buy two more to put in my um, pantry for that. I got one box of vanilla pudding. That is also needed for the Italian cream cake. Then I needed some more coffee pods. So I got the extra calf. I got a blonde roast. And I also got a toasted coconut. This one is so good. All of them are good. But I got light, medium, and medium dark. <laughs> I got the whole spectrum right here, except for a really dark roast. I'm not a dark, dark roast kind of gal. That's about as dark as I go right there. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's And it, it, will, it will wake you up. Let me put it that way. <laughs> then I got some Captain Wafers for lunches this week. This is just the cream cheese and chives. I got my husband his cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. Um, I've been making them, but I figured I'd just go ahead and save me some time this week <laughs> and get some of already bought ones. And then I picked up my son some fudge rounds for his lunchbox as well. Then I got a bag of sugar. I got a thing of the butter flavored syrup. We were almost out of that, so I wanted to go ahead and get another bottle to put back up in the pantry. And I think that's everything as far as the groceries go. But now let's do non-food. I needed some more um, fabric softener. So I just used the Snuggle Original. This smells so good. And then these have become my new favorite scent beads for my laundry. They are the Arm & Hammer Crisp Clean Light Scent. Y'all, these smell amazing and they make your clothes smell so good. So I got two of those. I had Walmart cash back on them. And same for this Tide here. I just got the Tide Plus Ultra Oxy. I love using this. It gets your clothes so clean. And I had to get some more OxyClean, the White Revive, because I love putting this in my white clothes, but I put it in all of my clothes. There's no bleach in it. It's chlorine free. It just makes your clothes brighter. So I needed some more of that. Then I got this Crest Pro Health Intense Clean Mint mouthwash. We were out of mouthwash, so I wanted to go ahead and replace it. I needed some more melatonin, so I got the 10 milligram melatonins. I needed some more moisturizing cream for my face, so I picked up the CeraVe um, moisturizing cream. We also needed some more toothpaste, so I got the Colgate Total. It's a two-pack. Um, which will be great because 
we were out of toothpaste in both bathrooms, the boys were out of their mouthwash. We still have some. So I got that for them. And then I got two things. Well, one, two pack of Colgate. <laughs> then my husband needed some more of his heartburn medicine. So I just got him one of those. Say hi, Peppy. Pepper. Him's going away. Mason's laying in there on the mat. Him's tired. You gonna turn around? No? Okay. <laughs> Don't mind the mop water there. I've got to um, mop when I'm done. And then I picked up some microplanin blades. Um, I love doing this. It makes my skin soft and it gets all the dead skin off of it and everything. So I got some of those. And then I also got my eyebrow shapers because I have been out of them for a while. And I wanted to go ahead and get those back. But that is everything that we got for this week. All right, y'all, that is it for this week's haul. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some new ideas of something maybe to pick up at the grocery store or something to make new for your family this week. If you are in need of prayers, please let me know below and I would be honored to pray for you all. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up, comment below and think about subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. I would absolutely love to have y'all. And until next time, God bless. Bye.